Hi there, I've been playing around with the new Adobe CC programs, Creative Cloud, and one thing that I really like about them is that Adobe has finally started learning how to use touch screens. So, this is my Surface Pro, and I'm going to show you a few touch features in Adobe CC. Let's check it out. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the worst touch support, and that's Lightroom 5. So, you know, I should, sometimes I can scroll, see that? No, I can't scroll through that anymore. Sometimes I can scroll, and sometimes I can't. And over here, sometimes you can scroll, but sometimes it doesn't work. And multi-touch zoom doesn't actually work. It looks like it works, but it doesn't really. And you can pan, I have the hand tool. And you see it doesn't work. Really, we're just tapping, and that's zooming in and zooming out. There's no control. If you want to see how multi-touch zooming should work, you just open the web browser. Anything on Windows 8 does really smooth multi-touch zooming. So flick back to Lightroom, and you see I can't move these. You have to touch the scroll bar, and it's really Sometimes there's a little bit of touch, but it doesn't, it's very awkward. Not very good there, Lightroom. Uh, next, how about Photoshop? Now this does not have multi-touch zoom unless you turn it on in the preferences. There's a, it's, it doesn't say multi-touch zoom, it says use scroll, use a mouse wheel to scroll. And if you turn that on, it'll do this, and you can see it's very laggy. And that should work even if I have different tools selected. But look what happens if I try to pan. Oh no, picture is gone. So that's how Photoshop works. And let's see After Effects. This is uh, not bad. You can zoom in here. It's uh, multi-touch zooming pretty easily. Scrolling the timeline doesn't work. So there's After Effects, we just really have it in the preview area. Dreamweaver has it pretty nicely. This is flicking. You can scroll through those. You can zoom. Not bad. But some areas do not scroll very easily. No kinetic scrolling over here. So Good step. InDesign. Yes, multi-touch zoom panning. But two fingers cannot move it around. I hit the hand tool and now I can move it. Premiere. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it just goes up to 400. And then that's it. <laughs> nope, nope, nothing works there. And bridge, we have just a little bit of stuff. I can do a full screen preview. And it's not super responsive. Not, not really as it should be, but it kind of works. So not bad, and you can't scroll here, you gotta touch the scroll bar. Now for Illustrator, which is actually the best uh, touch support from Adobe. So here I can multi-touch zoom, and it's still laggy, could be better, but I can also pan with two fingers. You see my move tool is selected, I'm gonna hit the brush, there's the brush and I can still move it around and I just wanted to show you we still have a pressure sensitive brush so that's nice and let's get back to the move tool select that one, free transform I get nice touch sensitive uh, controls over here so 
Really nice. Stretch it, stretch it. Maybe that's too much. And we have uh, perspective. So Illustrator here, and let's we're getting some really nice uh, touch UI enhancements. Zoom in a little, and right over there, and let me turn on that text again. So this bit of text, where's the uh, touch type tool? Now I can select characters, and we can rotate them a little bit, scale individual characters down, stretch it, move it a little bit. This one can be bigger. And let's go back to the move tool. And I can move it like that. So there, Illustrator uh, CC, also known as Illustrator 17. Some great touch enhancements over here. So thumbs up Adobe for the touch screen support, at least you're trying, <laughs> especially in Illustrator.